One more race to bring you, though. That's the women's lightweight double skulls. Helen Casey and Tracy Langlands absolutely delighted to make the final, and they were going in lane one. First 500 meters, they're into it. They're lying in third place, but they're in the hunt. They're in the pack. Race leaders, Germany, Canada up there in second place. Canada finished second at Munich three weeks ago. So uh, Great Britain now, as they come into 600 metres, Gillian really can move on, can have that sense that yeah, things are going well for us now. Well, they need to just hang on in there because if we're going to come away with a third place, then it, it's going to be a hard race for them. But it'll be there at the end if they just stick on in at it and not be phased by what's going on around them, but, but you know, just start believing in themselves again. You know, the, the, Tracy and Helen at the top of the picture, they don't necessarily make up the two fastest lightweight scholars in Great Britain. At, at trials, Tracy won, uh, Tracy who's stroking it, and, uh, and Helen finished further down the pack. But as a combination, they make the fastest double. 7.50 gone, just looking one down from Great Britain at lane one. Netherlands creeping all the time. Now, you're looking at uh, respective boat speed here, comparative boat speed. And Netherlands are just on their race pace now, and they are creeping back very smoothly, very relaxed. I, th I think uh, just comparing the two crews, uh, I was just looking at Canada down there, actually. Canada looked quite lethargic and quite heavy, where I was just looking at the British women on the, on the, the, the uh, lane one, the, the, the furthest away lane. They look quite perky, quite lively, uh, quite dynamic. So and they, this is a good position for them to be in. It's very encouraging. I'd say this is their best result so far here. Timing wise, Great Britain couldn't be just could be going better for Great Britain. They've come into it now, they're in this final, they're in the fight, and they're led by at the moment Canada, but they are in about fourth place. They've a second at, at third at 500 gone. They've had a bit of a steady second 500, but now they just need to let that confidence grow. They need to move on. They know they've got a core base speed that's competitive, and it's just having the will to drive it on and move it on. That's right, and it's always just where they are at the minute, where the athletes are boating from. You get a lot of liveliness in the water where they're warming up, other crews are warming up, and it's always good if you are stuck out on that lane, it's always good to clear that area in a good position because if you don't clear the area in a good position, then uh, you can get quite put off by all the distractions going off as crews boat to come out and uh, prepare for, for, for further races down the line. Always a strategic place as well, Gillian, because you have your coaches there. That's the first time the coaches you can stand along the banks and start to shout a bit of encouragement. You can't cycle all the way down as you can in other regattas. So it's the first time the coaches and the supporters, the crewmates, the teammates can really get onto their uh, crews. And Great Britain will benefit from that up in lane number one. Well, definitely not just Great Britain, but everybody, because it, you know, everybody is quite a way off the dry land there. Uh, there's probably about. Uh, about 100 metres between the land and the first lane, so you do feel like you're out in no man's land quite often in this. But, uh, but yeah, once you hear the home crowd, and that's really, really encouraging. So closest to us, the Olympic champions, Romania, starting to really move. They've come through in that last 150 metres. They've taken out Great Britain up in lane one. Great Britain back now down to about fifth place. And the Olympic champions, we're just looking at them there, smooth again, just getting that boat speed going. I always think that rowing is one of the toughest sports that you can ever ever participate in, but even tougher for these women out here because they have to diet to get down to their weight. Great Britain had a promising first 500. They had a mediocre second 500, but they're having a poor third 500 in this final of the women's lightweight double skulls, a final that has been led by Canada. They have been absolutely awesome all the way through. Now Canada about a length or so from the Olympic champions closest to us from Romania. A lane order, Great Britain in one, Netherlands in two, Germany in three, Canada in four, the Olympic champions Romania in five, Spain who are in lane number six out of the picture to the left. Now Romania closest to us had a very quiet first 500 and they kind of started to move in that second five and now they are going at a blistering pace. They've taken everybody, they've taken Germany, they've taken the Netherlands and Great Britain. They've got their sights on the crew on the right in the white boat, the crew from Canada. And they are hunting them down. They're absolutely moving on every single stroke. And, and just to 
A check order for you. Maximum individual weights, 59 kilograms, but the crew average cannot exceed 57 kilograms. That shows you how light these go, they're light and powerful and technical you have to be to do this event. Dynamic, and also what you find is in a, in a lightweight division, um, the rate will tend to be higher, whereas in heavyweight, there may be one or two pips race rate, around about 34, whereas lightweights will go over the course, 36, 37. 150 remain, 150 metres, Canada now holding off a great charge from Romania, the Olympic champions on one side and Germany, the world champions on the other. And the Canadian crew, a stroke by Fiona Milner, Mara Jones in the bow seat, have to hold on to the reserves that they've got, the last bid of effort to get this boat over the bows, over the finish line and just, and the Romanians, the Olympic champions, what a threat they are going to be come Athens because they've snuck into the uh, silver medal position from basically in sixth or fifth, sixth place in the first and opening 500 meters. Great Britain promised so much in the opening 500, pushed back down to uh, fifth place. But uh, Gillian, they're getting better. They're getting better. Sixth at Munich, fifth now. We've still got a few weeks to go to the Olympics. Just looking at the styles between Canada, the winning crew, and, and backed with the British women, the British women really could afford to use their bodies a lot more and get really, get, get you know, a foot per stroke more uh, throughout throughout the race. They're, they're very upright, they're, they're quite short looking, and uh, but that I, I guess that's a plus, you know, they have got a lot to go away and work on. So Great Britain moved into fifth place, Canada in first place, but the ominous uh, sight for everybody is Romania who take the silver medal uh, this time round, and they'll be hunting gold come Athens.